Well, good morning, folks. <laughs> I've just woken up and I've had this one of those brain waves that you get in that zone between when you're half waking up and you you're still half asleep. And uh, <laughs> I've, I've got to record this, and it's too hard to to type it all out. But it's a, an insight. I've I've been looking at life through a telescope through the wrong end all these years, and I've suddenly seen it through the other end, through through the end that people like Father John George and George Pell and uh, Marcel Maciel Degalado have been looking at it. And it's a eureka moment. <laughs> I can suddenly see, you know, where I've been so wrong about all this stuff. And, uh, oh, yeah, I, I, I just feel devastated this morning that, you know, that, that, that now it's all come to me. <laughs> I, I, I really, I've got to explain this because I, I think this is important. We'll, we'll have to close Catholica down, you know. It's, I, I've really been on the wrong track all this time. And in this, in this waking moment this morning, Eureka, I could finally, finally see it. And uh, I, th I think we've got to go back to tours, you know. The, 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 this, this religion stuff, it's screwing the world up, as you can see, and uh, uh, we, we, we've got to reach a consensus, all of us, as to, to, to where in the dickens we're going to take all this and, uh, so that we can have a bit of unity and consensus in the world as to, to take us forward. And all, all this intellectualising, it's, it, it's too much. Um, I've written a few notes down here to try and help me out and the first one says how others see religion, all this religion quest and the, and the quest for truth. I, I suppose for a lot of people it's just all too complicated. They're interested in watching the footy or watching the cricket or sport or, you know, watching their grandkids being brought up and growing up. Uh, or they're interested in cooking or fixing motor cars or driving trains or <laughs> goodness knows what else. And the religion part of life's insignificant, you know. It's, it's over there, it's something, you know, that you worry about sometimes probably when you're about to die. but. Uh, it, it, it's not seen as the important thing in life and what's this quest for truth and uh, you know it, it's irrelevant they want to know you know how a telescope works or or how a video camera works or how I want my motor car or my computer to work and not break down um, so for a lot of people you've you've to, to make your way through life you've, you've got to rely on experts and uh, I remember my parents, both my mother and father. My mother used to, whatever the local doctor said, she'd been a nurse in her life, but, you know, what the local doctor said, you know, that was like manna from heaven. That that was gospel, and you absolutely obeyed uh, whatever the local doctor said. F with my father, it was what father said, you know, what father said, you know, it was gospel, and you, you had to believe it. Um, for, for my generation, I think we, we started to ditch that and uh, <clears throat> we, 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 we still rely on experts, but what an expert says also has to be uh, processed by ourselves and say, now is this expert making sense? Uh, do we have an intu intuition? that this person knows what they're on about, they, they, they know their apples, as we say, and uh, <coughs> so there's an, an, another stage of uh, processing things in life. <coughs> when it comes to religion, <coughs> we talk about it being the search for the great mysteries, you know, the meaning of life, the meaning of our lives, uh, the meaning of ultimately you know why does this whole universe creation exist um, and I suppose for, for a lot of people that 
when they see priests or the Pope or the Catholic religion or a Buddhist monk or something, they view them not very much differently to how an African villager might have viewed the local witch doctor. That that person is the expert in these matters to do with what are broadly called religious issues. You know, what's the meaning of life? How do I make my life successful? How, how do I uh, get through life, uh, you know, without much anxiety, find peace in my life, and all these sort of things. And <clears throat> life is seen as a big mystery. You know, for the guy who's interested in playing trains or, or you know, fixing his motor car and that sort of thing, he's, he's not basically interested in, you know, <laughs> whether God exists or that sort of thing. These questions are all too hard and and so he, he, he is reliant on the, the, the priest or the church or some institution to tell him which way he's up in these things. And um, <clears throat> the other day Roach on the forum wrote that uh, uh, some bishop in Queensland, I think he's dead now, had, had uh, uh, said years ago that he, he'd given up reading theology 30 years before and he advised all his priests to do the same thing. <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of truth in that and probably a lot of bishops approach the, the thing like that. They stopped thinking when they got out of seminary and they themselves don't uh, really ask any questions about uh, what all this means. Um, and perhaps they view themselves in a similar way to the, the local witch doctor and, and they think it's a big mystery too and that there's, there's essentially no quest for truth because nobody has the answers so you've got to pluck, pluck out from this potpourri of um, uh, theologies and philosophies that exist and you accept one and if it sounds reasonably okay well you know you adopt that as your own philosophy or theology or understanding of life now uh, <coughs> I think things have changed for a lot of people I know they have for me and the, the, the end of the telescope I've been looking at it through is that really the life quest is essentially a quest for truth um, as some of you know, I, I, originally I studied physics and um, that's what my tertiary training was in and I suppose that influenced me a lot in that physics is essentially a search for the ultimate questions as to, to why things are as they are, the scientific quest. Um, when I think of other people in my life starting with my own parents, um, with my own children, and with my wife, um, <clears throat> I suddenly saw this morning that perhaps not everybody sees life through this lens that I see it, through this uh, thing of it essentially being a quest for understanding, a quest for for wanting to know why the world is as it is and I'm not just talking about in the realms of, of science um, I'm talking about in the dilemmas and the problems that, that um, each of us face in life